Welcome to another edition of Coonrod's Corner. Today's topic, learning why RO3000 materials are chosen for high-end RF applications. Here's your host, John Coonrod. Hello, welcome to Coonrod's Corner. My name is John Coonrod. I am a technical marketing manager for Rogers Corporation. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about RO3000 materials and why they are chosen for high-end RF applications. To begin with, let's take a look at the data sheet. And the data sheet shows us a variety of different properties of these materials. The RO3000 materials are a ceramic filled PTFE based materials. And the data sheet shows uh, many different properties. Now, in the data sheet, you can see that there are several different grades of RO3000 materials. There's RO3003, 3035, 3006, and 3010 laminates. And all these different materials have different dielectric constant and different properties. The 3003 materials has a dielectric constant about 3, and you can see the values here where the 3006 about 6.15 and the 3010 is 10.2. Now some of the other attributes to consider with uh, all these different materials is dissipation factor, and dissipation factor of 0 0.001 for RO3003 is actually very low. This is considered very low loss materials and even the higher loss of the RO3010 at a dissipation factor of 0 0.0022 is also considered very low loss. So all these materials have very low loss. They have dielectric constant that are controlled to a tolerance that are shown here which is tightly controlled. And then moisture absorption is another issue that comes up very often in RF applications where moisture absorption can be detrimental to the circuit performance. And here you can see the properties are very well behaved and very low moisture absorption at 0 0.04 or even less. The 0 0.05 for the RO3010 material is still considered a very low number for moisture absorption. And then thermal conductivity can be important for thermal management and uh, the general rule of thumb for thermal conductivity is a number of 0.5 watts per meter K or greater is considered a high thermal conductivity material and will benefit thermal management. Then the coefficient of thermal expansion, CTE, ideally that should be at 17 parts per million per degree C. And again, the rule of thumb is as long as that number is 70 parts per million per degree C or less, that's considered pretty good. And you can see the coefficient of thermal expansion of all these materials are in a range of being extremely good. Peel strength obviously is very good. It is a flame retardant system as shown here. And all these materials are very robust to lead free soldering processing. The RO3003 materials are used extensively in uh, automotive sensor applications at 77 and 79 gigahertz. The RO3006 materials, they're used in a variety of applications. A higher volume application recently, well actually over the last several years, is uh, power amplifiers. And then the RO3010 materials are used in many applications for filters and couplers and some aerospace and defense applications. Now let's look at some measured data on the RO3003 materials. In the graph shown here, we're looking at insertion loss of 5 mil 3003 materials used using two different types of copper. On the chart shown here is insertion loss, and it's insertion loss comparison of the 5 mil RO3003 materials made in microstrip transmission line format. And the gray curve is showing the circuits that are using the rolled copper, and the blue curve are showing circuits that the material was using the standard ED copper. And you can see there's a pretty significant difference between these for loss performance. And the rolled copper is very good for insertion loss really because it's so smooth that you get very little conductor losses. And that's pretty important as you get to the higher frequencies such as 77 gigahertz where this material is used very often. The RO3006 materials have been used in a variety of applications, power amplifiers, filters, and couplers. Uh, they've actually been used in power amplifiers for a number of years in very high volume, and there's several reasons for that. There's actually three good reasons. And the first one is it's got a dielectric constant about 6.15, and this higher dielectric constant enables the designer to design the circuit where it's smaller, so you can miniaturize your circuit some. The next, next issue would be uh, dissipation factor. It's a very low loss, 0 0.002 dissipation factor when tested at 10 gigahertz, and that is very low loss, and that helps the power amplifier for gain. And then lastly is thermal conductivity. The RO3006 materials is very good for thermal conduct conductivity. It's got a number of about 0.79 watt per meter K, and uh, that's considered very high for thermal conductivity, and that really does help thermal management issues. And obviously, in power amplifiers, thermal management issues can be very important. 
The RO3010 materials, this is a higher dielectric constant material, and they're typically used for couplers and filters and in some aerospace and uh, defense type of applications. Actually, these materials are used in a very large variety of applications, but I'd have to say the most common are filters. And uh, here I've shown a graph, or actually I've shown a picture of a comparison of filters built on the RO3010 materials and also another material with a three dielectric constant. As you can see in the picture here, the filter with the 10.2 dielectric constant, which is based on the RO3010 materials, is much smaller than the same filter, having the same filter response on using materials uh, with a dielectric constant of 3.0. The difference in size is about a 37% reduction of area when using the 3010 materials compared to the materials with the three dielectric constant. These filters are actually uh, filters that were designed as a bandpass filter at 2.5 gigahertz. And again, you can see there's a pretty dramatic difference in size. This concludes this session of Coonrod's Corner. Thank you for watching. For additional information and technical tools, if you are not already a member, join the Rogers Technology Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more of Coonrod's Corner and other informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Raj mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.